Hey folks, welcome back to, uh, well, what am I saying welcome back to? This is the first video of a new LP, but it's kind of a welcome back. It's the first video of my LP of Mass Effect 2. Now, I want to get a couple of little things straight before we get rolling. Um, probably this will not be the starting point for many people. The people who are watching this may have already watched me playing through Mass Effect. Uh, as I explained near the end of that LP, I had a little bit of a hiccup at the end. And I completed the game with a different Shepard save character than the one that I actually used for most of the game. So in this game, we're going to be importing a level 60 soldier Shepard, uh, but changing his class to engineer. And we're just going to have to pretend that it's the same story continuing. There will be very minor differences, including the fact that Fist got killed in my Let's Play of 1, but he'll still be around and have this little cameo in 2. Uh, the other thing I want to make clear here is... Um, uh, with Mass Effect, I endeavored really hard and was able to put up a new half an hour video every day. Uh, I can't make that promise here. I have, I'm making no promises about what the upload rate for this will be. And if you show up and start spamming my uh, main page with comments saying more Mass Effect, like this one guy has been doing, uh, I'm probably just have to block you. I, I can't. I can't make any promises. I'll try to update as often as I can because uh, starting in less than a month, I'm going to be taking a CPA review course. Uh, working on getting my CPA, advancing my career, etc., cetera, etc., cetera. and uh, that is going to uh, cut into my time, uh, my free time on weekends, which is when I usually do my LP recording stuff. Uh, because between taking all-day classes and also I'm supposed to be studying, even when I'm not in class, um, if I want to actually pass this exam at the end of all this training and expensive uh, prep courses and junk, I need to really to get a lot of time to it. And it's going to affect, it's going to impact my ability to just LP constantly. So uh, it's probably not even a good idea for me to be starting Mass Effect 2 right now, but I figure I'll be able to update it periodically. And uh, frankly, I was updating Mass Effect so fast, I think uh, it, it made it hard for people to follow the series. <laughs> Because not everybody can dedicate a half an hour a day to watching uh, one LP, especially well, people who are only casually interested in LPing anyway. It's not a full-time thing for them. And even people who are really into LPing and watching LPs, uh, you know, if you've got other people that you like to watch, it's hard to keep track if somebody's just half an hour every day. So, whatever. Enough thought. Enough of that. It's time to actually start this game. And um, I do have and pretty much intend to do all of the... Uh, DLC. There's a there's a lot of DLC for Mass Effect 2 and Mass Effect 3. Um, there was DLC for Mass Effect, but not as much. And it's a big thing that people have complained about a lot. Is um, game can be a bit of a the game is a pretty big money vacuum. It keeps sucking more and more dollars out of you to get every little bonus. But it's it's a really good, well designed game universe, and it's kind of one of the few ones that's that's worth it by and large uh, if they're going to charge you more than they're going to charge you more than like five bucks it's going to involve some new story and stuff but uh yeah let's uh although i have heard people complaining that if you do none of the dlc in mass effect 3 and you just play mass effect 3 without having played the first two games to built up backstory mass effect 3 is actually a really kind of empty game but whatever we're not playing mass effect 3 we're playing mass effect 2 starting now Oh, and I'm going to go ahead and get myself a little uh, stopwatch going here. No, timer. Yeah. Bioware's. Don't know if uh, there'll be problems with content IDs in this one. And, but, uh, yeah, if I play the cinematics and stuff, who knows. I'm going to wait a minute and see if there's any cool cinematics that'll pop up if we don't uh, advance things. But starting with 2 and continuing on to 3, somebody decided that the problem with Mass Effect was it isn't, wasn't gritty enough. So this game is all about trying to be all, like, gritty and edgy and dark and cool, which is... I don't know, I actually kind of preferred Mass Effect's world, which was a fairly clean and nice-looking place, where there's, you know, action and excitement and adventure, but it wasn't all, like, scary, ominous, dark all the time. This game, yeah, I mean... All this jagged metal pointing out in the scary red exploding sun, whatever. This is very indicative of the mood this game tries to set. Like here, it's like... 
I don't think this is supposed to be a building that's been destroyed. Maybe it is, but like, why would there be all these sharp, scary angles? <laughs> anyway, speaking of sharp, scary angles, there's Miranda's butt. There's Grunt. Kind of everybody's favorite character. I always, I never quite forgave him for being an attempt to replace Rex, but he is a pretty cool character. Bean is a big fan of Grunt, I believe. And there's the return of the uh, Thresher Maw. We don't see a whole lot. Miranda looks really weird there for some reason. Alright. So hopefully that didn't just completely wreck this video with content ID, but we'll see. I think EA's smarter than Square about this kind of thing. If people play these games on the interwebs, they just insert ads. Oh, there's a new 50-minute interactive story as you make the key choices of Mass Effect 1 and will allow you to have those choices reflected in Mass Effect 2. That is a DLC you can pay for. It's an interactive story. I've never... No. We played through Mass Effect 1. We don't need to do Mass Effect 2 Genesis. There's also Arrival. A deep cover agent is missing a Batarian space after reporting evidence of imminent Reaper invasion. Shepard must travel to the edge of the galaxy. Rescue the agent and discover the truth behind the arrival. Uncover new research and three new achievements in this spectacular new adventure. That's something I just deal I just downloaded that. Uh, there's an alternate appearance pack. I have no interest in that. Shadow Broker. This is also something that I downloaded. I downloaded that previously. Start a new game and let's import a Mass Effect 1 character. Do I wish to use the Mass Effect 1 import utility? You're damn right I do. You're damn skippy. So hopefully I will be able to figure out the right slot. Although I'll have more than like they, that maybe they'll be date stamped some way. Because I'm gonna have more than one level 60 sh uh, Shepherd soldier. This is the one. A, this is the one right here. I think this is the one that we actually won the game with. And we should have all the special fancy bonuses. He made it to level 60, so we're going to get a bit of a experience thing where we start at a high level of experience. It would be fun to play with... Uh, I, I didn't actually realize this, but I don't actually have a uh, fem ship that made it all the way to level 60. But uh, yeah, this... this I never actually got to the end with my... Uh, because once I realized that I'd screwed up the romance, I didn't I didn't bother to actually complete the game with my engineer. But we can uh, import John Shepard level 60 from our previous game and uh, make Shepard an engineer. It'll give us that option to change that. It's one of the very small number of things you're allowed to change, but otherwise you pretty much have to import your character as they were. Because what you're basically importing is the decisions you made in-game. Like, uh, you know, did you kill the Rack Knight Queen? Did Rex survive Veermeyer? That kind of stuff. You have to make those choices. Uh, if you play Mass Effect 2 without importing a Mass Effect 1 character, it actually just presents those as, as questions. Yes, no questions. You, okay. Did you want to kill the Rachni Queen? I guess we'll just go with... Uh, I guess we'll go with Veteran. We can change this if it's really being a problem. Squad Party, uh, we'll leave all this stuff alone. I do not like auto level. I like to make my own decisions. Our service history is John Shepard. Our rank is 60. We are a soldier. I don't think it'll let us change that here. Erdnot Rex survived the mission on Veermeyer. Kaiden Alenko was killed on Veermeyer. The council was saved by Commander Shepard during the attack on the Citadel. And that's the other thing. Um, if you choose a really renegade path, you can actually... Um, not only do you not save the Citadel at the end, you get to make that decision. Even if you're Paragon, you can let the Citadel, or sorry, the Council die. But if you're a Renegade, then they get replaced by an all-human Council. And, um, but the all-human Council never shows up. It's just like, they, they, I think I complained about this before in Mass Effect 1. They set up this really massive change, and then they're like, oh shit, we don't really want to program in all of the stuff that would be necessary to support this, so... I've never gone through, but I, my understanding is there's some weak sauce thing where the council refuses to see you in this game unless you unless it's the council you saved last time. The council doesn't meet with you in this game, and then in the third game, 
uh, if you save the council, you have the, the regular counselors. If you didn't, they're, each of them is individually replaced by a new member of the same species who looks slightly different but basically serves the same plot functions. And there's no point ever where you get to see an all-human council because there's just some throwaway line in the backstory about how they got replaced and now the council's got different species again. So the whole like renegade shepherd completely changing everything doesn't really get to happen. Electronic Arts presents a game that is really popular despite JG bitching about it up front. <laughs> A Bioware production. I think this is pretty much most people's favorite Mass Effect games. Probably my least favorite, but they're all really good games. A weird space goo production. Shepard did everything right, more than we could have hoped for. He even played through the game saving twice to get the level Citadel, sixty. Even saving the Council, humanity has the trust of the entire galaxy. Hey, it's um. And still, Momo. it's not enough. Still not enough. Our Still not enough. Our sacrifices the Council's gratitude, but Shepard remains our best hope. Hey. But they're sending him to fight Geth. He's like a real actor Geth. people have heard of. Geth. We both know they're not the real threat. Not the Geth. The Geth are still out there. By the way, it's up to find us me to sexy stop. at all? It's curious. The Council will never trust Cerberus. They'll never accept our help. Even after everything humanity has accomplished. Well, you guys are like an evil terrorist organization. I'd probably follow him. He's a hero, a bloody icon. He cowers over nothing. But he's just one man. If we lose Shepard, humanity might well follow. Yeah, I'm aware of that. Whatever we want me to do. Then see to it that we don't lose him. <sighs> Scary eyes. What the fuck is going on with his eyes? He's supposed to have like robo eyes. One month after the devastating death attack on the head of all the Galactic community struggles to rebuild the Alliance fleet made in front of the sky. Now the council forces have been found. Find evidence of Reapers and Norse machines that eradicate all organic civilizations every 50,000 years. Return to call the Roman council sent Samaritan Shepard to the Normandy to wipe out the last markets to get those visits, especially clean the village of the Gethon and the Spare and Exploded Spectre. Ah. So we're blaming Saren. And what do they know about Saren? Nothing. Disengaging FTL drives. Yeah, whatever. Emission sinks active. Board is green. We are running silent. So the place doesn't feel the same after the loss of that time. loved crew member from the last game. Of course, I'm talking about found any sign of Geth Jenkins. Activity. Three ships went missing here in the past month. Something happened to him. You asshole. My money's on slavers. The terminus system is crawling with them. Picking up something on the long range scanner. Unidentified vessel. Hey, who are you? Let's get some characters we recognize in here. Doesn't match any known signatures. Mm hmm. I'm smug for no real reason. Cruiser yeah. is changing course. Giant space turd. Now on intercept trajectory. Can't be. Stealth systems are engaged. There's no way a Geth ship could possibly. It's not the Geth. Brace for a of maneuvers. It's the Super Geth. Not Presley. Presley! You had like two lines of dialogue in the last game. But every single time we entered the, left the ship, Exo Presley had the deck. Somebody get the F out. Don't worry, folks. We will get a chance uh, shortly to switch uh, Shepard to an engineer. Hey, I think I think she's wearing the like, yeah, the, the goofy uh, pink chica armor, but... With the hellfire around, it kind of looks different. Shepherd! Hey. Distress beacon is ready for launch. Will the Alliance get here in time? Who cares? Damn well better. You mind if I just stare at you for a while, Ashley? I mean, I know we're in a hurry, but... Oh, I don't say anything. Let's make out through our helmets. We just need to hold on. Get everyone onto the escape shuttle. Joker's shot. still in the cockpit. Oh, I'm not this. leaving either. I need you to get the crew onto the e back shuttle. I'll take care of Joker. I'll take care of it. Commander! Ashley, go! Now. Look, I screwed up the romance with you last time and it was real pain in the ass, and now I need you to start playing ball, you dig? Playing with my balls. Woo! <laughs> Everybody in! Go! 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 
go, go, go. Move, move, move. Hey, is that Jack? Yo. If, yeah, no, no, we haven't met Jack yet. Jack, do you want to say? R2D2 and C3PO, oh, we're heading for the Dagobah. The Dagobah? That's Tantooine anyway. So, right out of the gate, they just blow up our ship. This game is a jerk. I like the Normandy. Alright, journal updated. Get to the cockpit. I am... Okay, I gotta go up the stairs, but not these stairs. Tally, are you down here somewhere? Can you tell me a long story about your family? Red stair, in case cause this game is off edgy. Let's change course. No, that's not gonna work. Oh, well, it's atmospheric enough, I suppose. If this was a William Hartnell story, they'd be wearing, like, uh, oxygenating anoraks instead of uh, spacesuits. They just didn't like wearing helmets. Alright, Joker, come on. Playtime's over. Let's get out of here. Joker. Come on, Joker. Joker. We have to get out of here. No, a ridiculous looking helmet. In the Normandy. I can still save her. Joker, don't be a hero, don't be a fool with your life. The Normandy's lost. Going down with the ship won't change that. Yeah, okay. Help me up. Oh. Okay, it's gonna tell me what to do, even though I'm your commanding officer. Guys don't seem to like us much, whoever they are. Joker, you're trying to save your ass. Stop whining. I mean, I know you got like brittle bones or whatever, but. How is this. Like, is Joker's gonna be dead too, right? Oh no, I guess he got Joker into an escape mode. Sucks to be Shepard right now. In space, no one can hear you spin. Oh, he's venting oxygen. Well, that's a pretty short game, and I really didn't see how we were supposed to win. But join me next time, folks, for Let's Play Mass Effect 3 on Mysterious JG. Thank you for... No. No, there's, there's dramatic music left to listen to. So they just killed Exo Presley, like, bam. Somebody decided that they weren't going to expand his character and make him a, you know, a huge part of the Mass Effect 2 story. They just killed his ass. Poor Exo Presley. He didn't like having aliens on board the Normandy, as you may recall. Meanwhile, in whatever this is... Oh, this would appear to be like... Commander Shepard's DNA or something. I don't know what Commander the Shepard on. has been recovered. Pretty cool, huh? The Lazarus Project will proceed as planned. You mean like that really bad episode of Doctor Who where a guy started to turn into some kind of weird monster? And they uh, had a visual sight gag that basically made it look like the doctor was about to start giving Martha Conolingus. Which is really not a direction I was expecting the story to go in. Yeah, that's right, folks. I just decided to throw the word Conolingus into this LP. I apologize. And 
least, you know, I'm not, I'm not the smack, sm uh, crack smoking mayor of Toronto, but I'll throw that around for, you know, just inappropriate times. Why not? Now I think this is where we get to because yes, he's been rescued by Australian accent woman and. They're gonna like use magical space future powers to bring him back. So this is, I believe, where we get to make changes if we want to. And the only change that we're gonna make is uh, changing his. Uh, I'm gonna accept his imported face, but uh, we could like give him a new face if we wanted to. We have the technology. We can make him faster, stronger. I'm gonna change him to. What did we go with? Engineer? Was he an engineer? They have combat drone, overload, incinerate, AI hacking, chiroblast. And their weapon training is in heavy pistols and machine guns. So that's not what he was. He was, uh... We had the, uh... The one with the, um... sniper rifle. Yeah, he was an infiltrator. Infiltrators are equipped with cloaking systems that allow them to avoid detection for short periods of time, granting a tactical advantage over enemies. Tactical cloak, incinerate, AI hacking, power training, and sniper rifle, heavy pistol, submachine gun, and cryo disruptor. The thing is that they, they wanted to keep the same six general classes, but they completely changed... Um, the way the tech skills and stuff work. So, the idea that you could have both, um, like, you know, that you don't need, and nobody needs to know decryption or anything anymore in this game. That that whole mini game with decrypting, you know, opening up containers is gone. So, the real difference between them is that each of them has, like, a specific power. Uh, soldiers have, like, this kind of special bullet time power called Adrenaline Rush. Infiltrators have Tactical Cloak, which I've never actually used. Apparently they could be a lot of fun. Vanguards do... Biotic Charge. I don't know what that actually is. Sentinels do have, like, special armor power. Adepts have a, uh... I think... Adepts have like a uh, biotic power that isn't available in any other class, and then engineers get to spawn combat drones, which are a lot of fun. But uh, basically, just like throws a a temporary uh, ally on the battlefield in the form of this flying tech drone that distracts enemies and attacks them. And it's kind of, in a way, it's it's, it's sort of fun to play with, but it kind of wrecks the game a bit because it's like you really don't have to ever shoot anybody. You just send out a combat drone and hide and then replace it periodically. It's a bit silly. So we're going to go with Infiltrator just because that's what we were last time, even though it's a completely different uh, class in this game. And I think we get to pick a bonus power because we've gone through the game or whatever. Let the boys be boys. Dominate is the silliest. It basically... Uh, it's it's a lot of fun, and then part of me wants to use it, but it's really silly. It um, it comes from a you get you get powers in this game from your squad mates. If you get a squad mate uh, to like you, if you like maximize your um, kind of synergy, uh, whatever friendship bonus. Like if you go out and you know look at fake American titties and go bowling with your friends, like in GTA 4. In this game, you you will get access to one of their powers, and there is a character in this game who is um, you can you, there's there is a branching point where you can get one of two characters, and you can't have them both. And I'm going to get the good guy character here, but if you go with the evil character, there's a character who is like an Asari with mind control powers, and basically it's the same as AI hacking, but on uh, organics. And this game has a lot less fighting with the Geth and a lot more fighting with uh, organics. So Dominate is actually really useful, but it's also really silly. Energy Drain, I don't remember what that does at all. Weave is a biotic power, so it wouldn't really be in character for our guy. Neural Shock is also a biotic power. I'm tempted to go with it just because it's fun, but it doesn't really work for us. Shredder Ammo, Warp Ammo, Inferno Grenade, Flashbang Grenade, which one of these do we actually want? Uh... 
do we already have an, an ammo power? I think we already have an ammo power. I think we have uh, incendiary ammo, which is kind of useful. I mean, I could use dominate and just not use it very often. It is fun. Uh, I didn't think about this, and I didn't really intend for this to, to take as much time. Uh, Neural Shock is kind of the one I want to go with, but our, our Shepherd was never supposed to have any biotic powers. And Warp Ammo is a fun one, but I think it implies that you're using biotic power on your own ammo. So to be in character, I'd have to go with one of the grenades, which are really not that good. Or, um... Or just pick another ammo, but I've already got ammo. The Inferno ammo I have is good against, uh... Slam, I think, is a biotic. So is barrier. Get shield boost. This one, this game doesn't have the special freezy ammo, does it? It would be nice to have something that's good against barriers. I don't know who you get energy drain from. Oh, fuck it. I'll just go with some worthless ass Inferno Grenade. We won't use it very much. So yeah, it's not a very good power, but it's kind of the only one we've got that's in character. And frankly, I mean, until you're very, until you're near the end of the game, you're not going to be able to level up all of your powers anyway. I will be unable to change any of my settings. I'm going with Inferno Grenades, just like the... It's not really particularly great. I'm just kind of surprised I couldn't see Impact Shot. I hope something hasn't gone wrong and I don't need to re-download, but I didn't... There's a bonus character named Zaid that I remember having, but I'm not sure if, uh... Reacting to outside stimuli, showing an awareness of his surroundings. He's got a boner. My God, he's reacting to stimuli. I think he's waking up. Holy shit, dudes! Oh, Damn Wilson it, has the voice of that Give him the voice actor I hate. Who's like in every anime Absolutely. ever? Just yeah. lie still. Try to stay calm. The guy who plays Spike in Cowboy, Cowboy Bebop. I don't. I don't like him because he just sounds the same no matter what he's in. It's not working. Another dose now. Also, when I used to hang out on forums that talked about anime, everybody was really we had a hard on for this guy, and I was like, he sounds exactly the same in every single thing he's in. I told you your estimates were off. Run the numbers again. Shepard, would you like to respond to this external stimuli? Hmm. Hmm. Shepard and his space boner. Wake up, Commander. Yeah, I'm trying to take a nap here. I don't wanna. So for Shepard, this has got to be kind of weird. He he shot out of his spaceship, it got blowed up, and all of a sudden he's like, what the hell's going on? So I leveled up. I can spend my squad power, so... I have a... I have, I have incinerate, and I have... Disruptor ammo. Rips through shoots. Oh, I didn't know I had it. Okay, I've already got... So it was a good thing not to get to... I thought I had uh, the incendiary ammo. I guess I don't. Because I don't even know if that's in this game or if that starts in the next game. Um, I've got cryo ammo, which can freeze stuff. But it's only good against stuff that doesn't have shields or armor. There's different types of protection in this game. We'll get into all this later. I'm already at level 5, which is because I... Uh, have imported a character who was at level 60. So probably my best bet is to um, purchase the things that will unlock all of my powers, even if they're still kind of crap. This means that the next time I level up, I can start getting AI hacking. 
I could also undo my points. Actually, I think I will because I'm. Maybe it would be a good idea to do. Uh, Operative rank 1. Your harsh training regimen increases weapon damage, reduces power recharging time, and gives a time dilation effect when entering sniper zoom. Also increases paragon and renegade scores. So you do kind of want to get this because it helps you max out your meter, but there is no shortage of opportunities to max out your meter for whatever way you want to go. Yeah, that can wait though. Tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm going to wait and get cryo armor uh, ammo later because I'll just use disruptor ammo. You can only have one ammo power going at a time, and uh, so basically, there's no ammo. There are ammos that are good against different types of enemies. There's no ammo that's worse than ammo with no upgrade at all. So even if Disruptor ammo is not particularly good against... Uh, it's good against shields and synthetics. It's not particularly good against biologicals or armor, but it's not like it's going to do less damage against armor than regular old ammo does. Uh, part of me really does want to go and get some operative going off. Oh, fuck it. But I also want to get uh, incinerate as soon as possible. And I can save a point so that I can get level 3 operative as soon as possible. AI hacking, I don't know how long it's going to take for that to be useful. Oh, I am agonizing over this. There. That'll, that'll do us. That'll do us. Hey. Wait, what the... What is all of this? Oh, this is my bonuses from completing the game previously. Oh, never mind. Those Paragon points, it was already displaying. I just didn't get a text message. This pistol doesn't have a thermal clip. This pistol doesn't have a thermal clip. I'll get you a clip from... Damn it! Those canisters by the door are going to blow. Get behind cover now! Keep your head down, Shepard. Shield yourself from the blast. Okay. Yeah, and that's a thing that's new now. Medigel is a common Is uh, weapons don't weapons now have ammo? There was this whole big thing where they didn't have modern infantry weapons are micro-scaled mass accelerators using mass-reducing fields and magnetic force to propel miniature slugs to lethal speeds. Nearly every gun on the battlefield is laden with features, from targeting to auto assist to projectile shavers that can generate thousands of rounds of ammunition from a small internal block of metal. It was long thought that personal weapons had plateaued in performance, but the Geth provided all, proved all theories wrong. Mathematically reviewing their combat logs, the Geth found that in age of kinetic barriers, more, most firefights were won by the side who could put the most rounds downrange the fastest. But combatants were forced to liberally shoot slower to manage waste heat or pauses of weapons vended. To eliminate this inefficiency, the Geth adapted detachable heat sinks known as thermal clips. While organic arms manufacturers initially were initially doubtful this would produce a net gain, a well-trained soldier can eject and swap thermal clips in under a second. Face of superior enemy firepower, organic armies soon followed up on the Geth's lead, and today's battlefields are littered with these thermal clips. In other words, the whole thing about how you don't have to worry about ammo and mass effect, you just can only shoot it so fast, and every so often you have to take a little break. Yeah, they basically wrecked that. Right, some Somehow it bothered them. The game was too dissimilar to uh, other shooters. They're like, we can't do that. That's not how Gears of War works. So, fucking ammo. Um, and on that note, I'm going to call it a video. When we come back, folks, we're going to be playing Mass Effect 2 which suddenly has ammo in the form of in, in the form of thermal clips. You don't have to collect enough thermal clips that your gun will function. Boo. But uh, eh, I think we can we can live with it. We don't have a choice. Bye-bye.